day today. That's good. They feel about right. Last minute check. That one's good. A couple of flat spots on the top. Now, most of you guys will know I don't like disclosing my location. This is a stretch of beach that has a pretty special significance to me. Whenever I'm down here, I uh, like to sneak up here and pick up a load of rubbish. There's campsites up here that really shouldn't be campsites. Um, and I don't think they're actually legal campsites and there's usually rubbish everywhere. So I usually try and do a little clandestine trip, pick up as much rubbish as I can and leave as little trace as possible. Um, to that end, I stay off the dunes, I stay off anything that looks like habitat. And I usually drive along the waterline my tracks are usually gone uh, within an hour or so of me being here. So uh, yeah, today is uh, pretty much sneak in, get rubbish, sneak out. Um, one of the main things, uh, one of the main reasons I don't do this on foot is I have MS. I can only go about 100 meters or so on foot before I have complications. The other issue is, um, I'm not sure how, but it's on the other side of a river and somehow people get across there. So. My ability to do this on foot is pretty limited and it's in a reasonably remote area. So, um, you know, we're gonna do the best we can and try and clean it up. Most of the locals around here are aware of me and uh, they're all for what I'm doing. I get a little bit of assistance sometimes too. So uh, let's go see if we can do something good for the environment. Now, I have no idea if this audio is even legible. I've got the strongest wind filter I have on the mic. We'll see how we go. The wind is coming head on, so that means if I have some sort of a failure here, I'll blow back onto this shore, which will be nice. All right, let's go. Usually it's easiest to take this way. It's a shallowest entry. I've got to not look at the water, I've got to look at the horizon. It can be deceptive otherwise. We're gonna float. It always feels wrong doing this. I had a big heavy battery in the back, so we're leveling out a little bit. It's gonna be a front return trip, and this is brackish water, so I try and go slow. As little as little as possible in the engine bay. You can already see the cows here. I had one little splash of the seawater on it once and they rusted pretty much instantly. But uh, we'll get across here. While I'm at it, I might turn the depth sounder on. I haven't tested that in a while. What's our water temp doing today? Uh, 13 Celsius. Looking at that. And about three meters below us at the moment. We're in the deep bit. And a uh, bit of kelp and stuff under there, so... Or a bit of whatever that is. There's sea sponges and stuff build up under here. When you're swimming and you touch the bottom, it's really weird feeling. and a half we're through the deepest channel in the middle should start to shallow out over here somewhere about a meter now now we're meeting the wind I need to speed up a little yeah you can see I don't know if you can see on this camera but yeah there's definitely a, a channel in the middle we're crossed with some funny shaped stuff in there I have to turn this off once we hit the bottom we just touch the bottom here turn this off so we don't overload the sensor. All right, and we're across. All right, and the rubbish hunt begins.
what have we got? Chinese insect spray, soy sauce bottle, soy sauce bottle, Chinese drinking water, bottles, 4X, SP40, Chinese green tea, my rubbish, my rubbish, Peter's light and creamy, natural spring water, whatever that is. This is some of the fencing stuff. Oh, there's sand in everything. Okay. This rubber seal, whatever this is. Walrus will be happy, it's a big seal. That's my water bottle. Coon bag. More soy sauce bottles. Spray mark. Polystyrene. Old rag. Soy sauce bottles. More what I assume is soy sauce. More Chinese drinking water. Um, glass bottle with a cap put back on. That is a uh, San Miguel. Probably local. This one's a uh, Mildara. The property of Mildara. Jura Winery. Okay. Beer bottle. Plastic. More 4X. Ice cream tub. Somebody's plastic fenders. I can. More soy sauce bottles and a plastic cap. Soy sauce. Mystery spray. I don't know what it is. Yeah, it looks like uh, insect repellent, maybe. Soy sauce. Plastic caps off something. Pack tech. Okay. Bit of rope. Oh, and there's more soy sauce under here. Somebody lost their fenders in a mud hole. What's more, it looks like Chinese soy sauce bottles. Which is probably probably uh, the double happiness cigarettes with Chinese on them. I don't think you're gonna get them in Australia. And there's uh, a ball of mush in there. Oh, it smells like ashes. So I've been smoking, they've used it as an ash thing and then thrown it overboard. Yeah. That hasn't been in the water too long. What have we got? The Breeder's Choice. Crea Doors. Oh, okay, so this is... I'm not real good with me. This looks like something Mexican. Can't really tell. Got vodka crush, more soy sauce, more water bottles, more Chinese stuff, half a hard hat. You, I find these actually more often than you might think, and most of them have got Chinese writing on them. I think that's it for the rubbish. Oh, there's one more. What have we got? Chinese whiskey. Uh, Gentong Mars. Whiskey. I would say there's people, somebody that's got access to Chinese stuff nearby. Interesting. Alright, let's go park it for the day. Alright, time to load up. Hopefully the jerry can offsets the weight of the winch. I do have to say, when they uh, had this trailer custom made, they balanced it nicely. And then I went and added a winch and messed it up. Alright, so, I'm back at base and uh, I'm sorry I didn't do a lot of filming of actually going and picking up rubbish or 
trash or whatever word you want to use to describe it. I wanted to get the job done and I needed some time off. That's part of why I'm here. It's a bit of a stress relief. Um, the other side of things is I had a bit of trouble today and one of the things you guys don't see off camera and I don't have any examples to put in here is all the times I fall over or injure myself or fumble things when I start to lose mobility. I'm good for about four hours normally um, on a cool day. Today is about between about 8 and 10 degrees. I actually got a little bit too cold by the time I got back. Um, but I've been out there good for a good five, nearly six hours, and I'm walking funky now. I'm having trouble coordinating. And uh, you'll see here, like, you know, my knee's a bit messed up and my arm's a bit messed up. I've fell over a few times. It's not too bad in the sand, but I also hate sand. It gets in everything. And it's hell on mechanic stuff. I mean, it's all through here. I'm going to have nightmare to clean this stuff up. But I am desperate to do something meaningful while I'm here and while I'm mobile. So I got rid of a full tub load of rubbish today. And uh, I offered to pay the park owners some extra money towards their um, skip bin fees because there's no actual rubbish service here. They take it out in big skips like these ones over the back here. And uh, it costs money every time they do that. And it's not cheap. And uh, they were quite graceful and said, no, we're quite happy that you're cleaning the place up. So, um, yeah. But I am absolutely knackered and uh, I'm not sure I can get a full long form video out today. But I did want to bring some, uh, some attention to the kinds of rubbish that's washing up. And I note that there is a predominant and overwhelming amount of stuff that is not available in Australia. I would hazard a guess and say most of it's available in China. I'd also speculate and uh, make a running theory that uh, I reckon the Chinese fishing fleets are getting into uh, waters around Australia where they probably shouldn't be. And having some idea of the currents and the wind, having spent a bit of time on offshore platforms out there, that I can probably guess where they are and they really should not be there. And uh, as far as I understand, I don't have any first-hand knowledge of this, but I do have a bit of second-hand knowledge, that they tend to show up in big fleets in the middle of the night and strip a place bare and then take off. And uh, China is not known for sustainable fishing practices. Speaking of, of eating, the magpies are waiting on a feed from me too. They've been very politely asking for something to eat, so I'll sort them out in a minute. But yes, it is uh, an interesting thing that I, I am quite proud of the fact that I can't find much rubbish here that has English language on it. So I would say the locals and the people that come here are being fairly respectful. I did find a pile of 4X cans, and that tells me we had some people from out of state that are leaving their stuff all over the beach. But um, that is one of the locals uh, was aware of who that might have been, and they're aware of what I picked up as much as we're going to say about that anyway I think I'm done for the day I think I'm done with this video and I'm going to have to scrub the rust off the bloody grills on this because it got a tiny splash of salt water once and it's uh it's rusting so I have a list of repairs to do before I go home namely my magnetic number plate holder needs a magnet gluing back on but uh yeah I lost a good $300 impact driver on the way here, or at least it's $300 by the time you add the battery into it. And I thought somebody had nicked it. I had to drive 20 k's back to go back to where I thought I lost it, and a pair of cyclists had picked it up in the meantime. I thought I'd lost it. They dropped it off at the local cop shop, and uh, they had my name and number on it, and they called me up and said, hey, we've got it here. And uh, luckily I have receipts and serial numbers, so I can get it back. That is some good news. How knackered it is from being fallen, fallen off the vehicle and getting run over, I don't know, but we'll see. Um, on the way here, I didn't film any real intros. I had a shit of a time. I made mistakes. I broke things. The vehicle broke down three times on the way here in different ways, and I had to fix it in the field. Once three things go wrong like that, like critical things, I have a tendency to go home and abort plans. Um, it's only that I know the owners of the park here and they're very accommodating to me and very helpful 
and um, there's a growing number of locals that are happy and pleased with me and what I'm doing so I've received a lot of support from the community and that's an unusual thing for me I'm not used to getting community support so um, I'm kind of touched by that things don't usually move me very much emotionally but this does a little bit but I'm also very tired and post high levels of stress so I think at that end I'm going to go to sleep for the next day and a half and uh, try and catch up on that and hopefully go home refreshed and try and come up with more structured videos. Anyway, I'll see you later and I hope it was uh, an eye opener for you.